today's dish takes inspiration from the warmer Mediterranean climate, not to mention it's vegan friendly. Yes, indeed, and our firefighting chef. Good. It does, doesn't it? Paul, oh, oh, will you give gorgeous. it a minute, for God's sake? <laughs> Paul Knapp is back with his summery tomato and basil pasta. Good morning, Chief. Great guys. to How see you, you again. Nice yeah. It does smell delicious. It is, yeah, really good. Next one, that's what we'll do first. We'll just kind of just, you know, tempt the senses. Uh, so, yeah, we're just making this classic little dish. It's really, really simple. The ingredients are straightforward. We're just putting in some garlic, we're putting in some chilli, some tomato and some olives in there. A little bit of basil, say, and we finish it with some olive oil and uh, some uh, parmesan cheese. I say, this dish takes about 10 minutes to cook from start to finish. Oh, wow, okay. So it takes as long as it takes to cook the pasta. The pasta's pre-cooked, obviously, just for TV time, should we say, okay? You're so using spaghetti. I'm actually morning. using linguine. Was it so linguine? Uh, listen, there's, pa there's pasta purists out there that will tell you certain uh -huh. pastas for certain dishes and all these other yeah. bits and pieces. Oh, pasta's really? Pasta. There is, uh, like, the flatter pastas for the heavier sauces. Uh, linguine is more oval-shaped, so it lends itself to a lighter sauce, something like this. So the north what's of Italy. What's your favourite? Um, pasta. <laughs> but tell me <laughs> what's, what's, what's your favourite pasta. What, what whatever is in the cupboard. Like linguine or, or spaghetti. Spaghetti it looks round. The same. Spaghetti's round. Right. And, and this is more oval shaped. Oval. But you really need to kind of get into oh. the kind of the, the bare bits and pieces. But what we'll do for now, we'll just pop this in. So we're actually just using linguine here. So that normally takes about eight to nine minutes to cook, which is as long as it takes for the dish to cook. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So into a pan, what we've got is say all this ingredients is up on Island Dem's Facebook page as well as Virgin Media One's website. Start off with a cold pan and a good glug of olive oil, okay? So what we want to do is we're going to put into this our garlic, which we finely sliced, about four or five cloves of garlic. That is a lot of olive oil. It's a good fat, okay? And because we're not really kind of frying, we want to use the flavour rather okay. so, because we're not actually using, like, if we was frying, we'd use, like, a rapeseed oil or something like oh, that. I suppose, because cause if you're having a salad, you'd be pouring yeah, that olive oil. Absolutely, yes. yeah, absolutely, yeah, because and it's that's... a good oil. Yeah, good virgin olive oil. Absolutely. Isn't it? So what we just we just put into there about four or five thinly sliced cloves of garlic, okay? And all we want to do, and I'm going to put in there about one to half a chili, depends upon how hot they are. But this okay? is going to be quite a, a spicy dish. It then. isn't actually. No, all it, no, it's it not? Not, no, not really. Again, all I'd say is taste the chili before you put it in, because some of those small little ones kind of give a real kick, mm. and some of the big guys you look at them and think they're going to be really menacing, and actually there's nothing to them as well. Okay. Yeah. So they'll offer just a little bit of flavour, but not that kick in the back of the throat. All right. So what we would be doing is we would be warming this up, and what we're going to do is we're going to infuse all those flavours of the of the garlic and of the chilli into that oil because that's what's going to coat our sauce. Delicious. Okay, yeah. so that's what they do. It's a, a nice light sauce. So this would be softening down over say about four or five minutes. So what we do is we just crank this up a little bit, speed up for TV time. We don't want to fry this. We don't want to brown this. We're just softening it. Oh, okay. Because so garlic, so. garlic, yeah, it wouldn't take much heat. Yeah, it, to doesn't, it, it doesn't yeah. take a lot. That's why sometimes you normally put it in like later on into a dish because uh -huh. it does burn quite quickly. Uh, a nice it's little tip that you can it. do. Absolutely, yeah. A nice little thing you could do with this. You could get all of that olive oil with maybe four or five sli slices of garlic. Warm the oil so it's just slightly warm. Turn mm -hmm. it off and leave it. And then what you've got is a lovely. Once it cools down, you've got this lovely garlic infused oil. Mm -hmm. So like little things you can do. So this is just say warming up here. This is just starting to soften down. As I said, about four or five minutes is how long it would take. And so we're trying to avoid just frying it. But straight away you get that lovely smell of garlic, yep. and you can smell that there you can with smell the basil. It here, yeah. Then Delicious. what we're going to put into it is olives. So I've used brown olives, Kalamata olives. All right. They're, again, they, they've got some really good fats in them. Got uh, a lot of a olives nice, there. Again, there's just a jar of olives, uh, pitted ones. You can so buy, yeah, you, they're already pitted. You can buy them say, actually with while. the stone, and you can sit there and go through that, or you yeah. can buy them pitted. Flavours exactly the same. So I mean, you're just paying for the privilege of that. So all we do is we pop in there. There's just a jar of olives goes into there. Okay. That goes in. And then you know the vine ripened tomatoes like we have here? Yeah. Okay, all I've got in there is probably two of those bunches. And I've just halved them and I pop them straight into there. So it's a really, really simple, light sauce for your pasta. And I think sometimes we get a little bit too kind of carried away with millions of ingredients. And sometimes we forget the, the flavour and the taste of simplicity. Is yeah. it important to get really ripe, good tomatoes? Because, you know, you see those, they just look they're perfect. Bombs of sweetness. They're beautiful. They're bursting with flavour. Bombs of sweetness. Bombs of sweetness. Oh. Because what they could, that's now going to counteract against the this kind of saltiness of the olive, OK? Ah, yeah. So, again, what we want to do is we want to create kind of a sauce. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rob some of that pasta water. OK. okay? And I'm just going to put some of that pasta water into here. OK. And we'll just give that a little stir. So it's a really quick and a really simple sauce. Mm. You turn this right up. And then what I'm going to put into it as well is just some tamari, OK, and some nori. So nori is, you know, the sushi that's wrapped, the seaweed that's wrapped, the sushi. Oh, yeah. you know the like thing, paper. Yeah? yeah, exactly, just like the paper yeah. sheets. Yeah. All I do is you can buy it in powdered form. So it's obviously the, benefit, the health benefits of seaweed, we know about those. But also all I do is I just tear them up, I put them into a little food blitzer with a little bit of tamari, which is a gluten-free soya sauce, okay, with a little bit of hot water, and I blitz it. 
because this would traditionally would have been, say, like um, maybe, say, like a pasta with linguine would be with clams or with mussels with like a shellfish and a nice glass of white wine, as we were talking about earlier on. So what we'll do is, when we put this in, it kind of introduces the taste of the sea. I've so, got some of this yeah. here. So, so is, tomorrow is, is it a, fishy? No, or is it, no, no, no. It's just, it's just, it just tastes kind of sea, to be perfect. What's the taste like? You know when you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> What's it taste like know. there? Um, so it's seaweed. Like seaweed taste. All it is, it's, it's basically it's tamari soy sauce, but it's not as strong. And all that does is just seaweed. <laughs> now, <laughs> no, it's okay. You can definitely, it's seaweedy, yeah. Why would you put that on it? But again, it just gives it that lovely taste which you're tasting there. But he's it not little... like, he thinks no, it's, no. Not, it's not. It's not actually used it's for strong, garnish. It's strong, just. It's strong. Oh, and okay. I reckon in a big dish like that. Okay, it so would think really... of, think of like a salad dressing. Think of something like that. It's an additive, it's a seasoning. So you know, like a cordial mm, drink. Yeah. You know, it's a very, very, very strong, concentrated flavour that gets diluted down with the oh, liquid. All right, so okay. That is put into this. Yeah. Now, put it over it. You don't need to pour it over it. No, it's, it's, not a, it's not a seasoning. It actually goes into the dish. Oh, oh just oh, give it. I, I, I'm I, having the cordial here. <laughs> I gave just it to taste the cordial. Drink more. Oh, Drink more cordial. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I but gave it there so you could have a little taste it, of it. I can definitely okay. get the smell of that though. It adds the saltiness or something, doesn't it? Does, it? That's all it does. It just puts in there because there's no seasoning going into this. All we're using, we're using, we're using nature to season the dish. Yeah. So we've got the saltiness of the olives and also as well we're going to put in there just towards the end of the dish, we're just going to pop in there a good fistful of basil. I've probably put in probably a, pretty much most of that as yeah, into that's this. Yeah, that's a good... I, my basil plant died on me. I was putting on Instagram yesterday going, Any, can anybody save my basil plant? <laughs> they are hard to maintain. And all we do yes, then... Yes, I did water right, it. I'm going to try some producer. of this. Do you just dig in, guys. <laughs> and all we do then is once your pasta's cooked, you don't need to drain it, take it straight out and put it straight into here. And you've got these colours, you've got these reds, you've got these greens going on in there, you've got the mm. browns of the olives. Oh, and literally, yeah. we're just going to pop that in there and we stir all that in. And that, basically, is it? Oh, it's a taste. It's simple, isn't it? I just love the tomatoes. Yeah. You know, those... The tomatoes and basil, I just think... Gorgeous you can't together. go wrong, they're classic flavours, tomatoes mm. and basils. So and I'm not a big fan of olives, but... Kind of wilted down like that. You don't taste them. They add. Yeah. It's like everything. Everything adds to the dish. It's mm. not. It's not an olive pasta. It's not a tomato pasta. It's a combination of all yeah. of these different bits and pieces. But what you do is it's you get those actually delicious. Yeah. And you don't taste the seaweed. No, no. you can't taste the seaweed. Oh, so there's lots in that, is there? There there's... was probably about a tablespoon yeah, of right. that. There's probably a little bit more than this Would in there. Would you put some parmesan cheese over that then? Just, then, or just there is a little, there's a little bit of parmesan. Get a little bit of parmesan yeah. cheese. There's a little bit more if you wish to have some. Sort. No, that's fine. It's just express delivery. A little glass of um, <sighs> white wine now. Mm. That and again, gorgeous. it literally nice. takes as quick as it look at that. As quick as it is to. Would you put that uh, in a big bowl and oh, put it in the middle of a put table? put it into the middle and then just pass it around. And that's that's what dining should be. It Beautiful, should be everybody yeah. just sitting there and just finish that then, as we said there. All done. A little bit of parmesan. Job done. Beautiful. That's my one. Super Paul. stuff. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you Absolutely so much. Delicious. That is absolutely Great fantastic. Great to be back. Thanks very much.